There are perhaps many different ways and phrases, uh, words and phrases, that is, that you could use to describe the Minnesota Vikings, but maybe none, maybe none is better than Michael Scott himself. Just why are you the way that you are? And this game between the Indianapolis Colts and the Minnesota Vikings, like it, it just seemed like everything was going to go wrong. It just wasn't looking good. Uh, and I really felt like the Vikings, man, you're down 33 nothing at halftime. And it was just like, okay, fine. You know, I was actually watching a. a a game, I was actually covering a uh, one of the biggest basketball tournaments in the state of South Dakota at the time. But then, yes, uh, you, you just saw what happened there, and it was just absolutely bonkers. Uh, I was actually on the radio with one of my buddies uh, talking about it during the game, and it was just uh, something I'll never forget. But I also want to point out the fact that, you know, uh, it, it, there's a lot of big ramifications that came from something like this. So you have uh, the Vikings, all the narratives, uh, especially going on after the game. Yes, division champs, everybody's excited, everybody loves it. Yes, great to see and all that. But there's a point I'm trying to make that I think, because uh, I, 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 was, I was thinking in the shower, I'm, like, I'm thinking, Colton... What is the best way to put this? Because on one hand, there's the, the realist Viking side of me that wants to say, okay, the Vikings are frauds, you know, the, the, they, they can't win against tough teams in terms of like, you know, uh, if you look at the Cowboys game and the Eagles, I know you're going to bring up the Bills game, but what I'm saying is, it's like, they always have to come out a little sluggish and then get back into the game, and they can't do that against some good teams, i.e. proof in the Eagles and the Cowboys game, and even in, to a degree, the Lions game, because the Lions are definitely coming up right now, they're doing some big, big time stuff, but... And then there's the other side of it. So you got the one, hey, a, a bah humbug, the Vikings are frauds. And then the other end of it, it's just like the Vikings, like they're having some miracles. Like they're having some some help on their side. So first off, you got to knock on wood. And and I guess the second part of this, that, that is that I, I told myself, okay, Colton, you have to find the middle. What's, what is what is the middle here? Can we at least agree that the Minnesota Vikings are the most exciting team in the NFL right now? I'd like, I don't really think that anybody can argue that at this point because – you have multiple games. What is it now that they've won, I think, 10, 10 games by one score or less? And yes, I know what everybody else is going to be talking about, point differential, which, by the way, is kind of funny because I felt like, and I could be just, you know, I also, I, I mean, I got to give credit to the Purple for the Win podcast, kind of Andy pointing out that the fact that nobody has ever considered that uh, ever uh, until it's the Vikings and the Vikings are looking good, but it, it is what it is. So uh, I'm going to bring you the schedule up here. So yes, there's the Packers game, basically the only game that the Vikings ever won by double digits-ish. Uh, so then, yes, you got the Eagles game, you win one in Detroit, or excuse me, yeah, you win one against the Lions at home, and then you, you know, it's just this, this stretch, like that 6-7 game stretch that the Vikings had, and then finally, yes, you get absolutely schlacked by the Cowboys, 40-3, uh, to and you're thinking, okay, fine, uh, you take care of business on Thursday Night Football against the Patriots, again, a one-score game there, you take care of business against the Jets, and I'm thinking, okay, the Vikings, like, they could get something going here, and then, yes, uh, the one game that they didn't win, um, yes, the, the, the Lions game here in Detroit, I mean, like I said, Detroit is looking like something special here, but look at all these games look at all these one score games out of those 10 games can you not admit now that or can we not admit rather that this is the most exciting vikings team in right now like this is the most exciting team in the nfl don't give me nothing about the chiefs don't give me nothing about the eagles the fact that yes they blow basically beat everybody by one or two touchdowns like most of these games for the vikings like 99 percent of them are all all of our hearts are palpitated like you can hear yourself uh, as the last seconds of the game tick away because they are truly the most exciting team in the NFL right now and again when I say exciting I'm not talking about the best I'm not talking about the most likely to win a Super Bowl I'm talking about the, the team that just keeps you on the edge of your seat week in, week out. I mean, the Chiefs, they, they're just so good. Honestly, yes, there's a little bit of that, you know, heart, heart palpitations and all that. But for the most part, Patrick Mahomes is just amazing. You know that they're most likely going to at least make the AFC Championship game. And then we'll go from there. But the Vikings... I don't think anybody can debate it right now. They are just the most exciting team in the NFL right now. And it's at all levels because... It's not even just like the offense is carrying things right now. So, yes, you got Kirk Cousins, who, in my mind, has played the absolute best football of his career. you got to be able to give him the credit there. You've got, uh, who, uh, by the way, he's almost thrown for 4,000 yards this year, 24 touchdown passes, 11 interceptions, just continues to get it done. Dalvin Cook surpassed 1,000 yards yesterday against the Colts, 230 carries, 1,045 yards, 8 touchdowns this year, has ab absolutely looked fantastic. And then you got Justin Jefferson, the man, the myth, the legend, who, he I don't care what anybody says, he's going for 2K, 
baby. He's going for 2K. 111 catches, 1,623 yards, and 7 touchdowns. I think he's probably going to reach uh, double-digit touchdowns this year. At least I hope he does. And then Adam Thielen, like, he's just, he's the classic. He, he just continues to produce for the Vikings. Now, I would argue that KJ Osborne is probably uh, starting to creep up on him for that number two wide receiver bit, but hey, it doesn't matter to me. 66 catches for 686 yards and 5 touchdowns for Adam Thielen. And then KJ Osborne having the big-time day. 45 catches, 457 yards, and 4 touchdowns. But defensively, now this was the Achilles heel of the Vikings. So, you've got this defense that, again, has allowed, I think it was something crazy, like 5 straight 400-yard games, including uh, uh, I think it was like 500 total yards against the Lions. Just awful awful and it was it was frustrating because this is too talented of a team too talented of a defense and and then they show up yesterday against the Colts and they they kind of arguably get the job done like you talk about the pick six you talk about the blocked punt for the touchdown like those aren't necessarily the Vikings defensive faults like it's the fact that hey um those are those are kind of freak plays there so uh but yes this defense uh between Eric Kendricks and Jordan Hicks in the middle it's been opportunistic there has been times where it has absolutely you've had some of these guys just get key turnovers and key spots Daniil Hunter and Zedarius Smith have combined uh, at this point for like 18 and a half sacks so far. So yes, I think you're excited about this defense. Like that's the thing. It doesn't need to be special and it does just enough to feel like it is a special team. So I, I think the Vikings, you know, for those reasons, they are the most exciting team in the NFL right now. They all like they're the leading cause of heart problems for Minnesota Vikings fans around the nation. Like they just, everybody has heart problems because of the Vikings right now. But let us know what you guys think about the Minnesota Vikings being the most exciting team in the NFL right now. Make sure you guys like and subscribe down below leave a like and a comment it helps people find the show we greatly appreciate all the support that we've gotten and continue to get you guys are all truthfully awesome we love every single one of you down in the description below you'll find all of our social media platforms so give us a like and a follow there also remember to give us a listen and sub on itunes and finally if you have anything else you'd like us to cover send us an email at sportsbp at yahoo.com or put it in the comment section down below and we would love to cover it. but let us know what you guys think about the minnesota vikings who are the most exciting team in the nfl